this is what I'm talking about when I'm telling y'all it's like mashed potatoes mixed with super glue. Yeah. I am now one inch taller because of the mud. So that's what I'm talking about. Absolutely horrible. Makes your boots heavy. Not getting too much grip. <sighs> Odd. Looks like it may have been tossed up from that way. Hit the ground and broke. So, alright, see you guys in a minute. Well, not quite to the spots yet. I actually passed them. There's a place I've been wanting to check out. For a while now. And I do see some travel paths coming through here. You can see been traveled up that way. So and then uh oh beautiful hawk. Just flew out of the tree right there. Beautiful hawk. Oh, very heavily traveled right here. How wide it is. This is pretty typical of what I find. They're all broken downward almost like a blind they can stand down there or even up on a limb and uh, just watch so, yeah I wanted to check out this little peninsula area Interesting. Huh. Very interesting. That was not a deer. That wasn't about lion. That wasn't a freaking billy goat. Actually, one more spot I want to check out too. And it's down over there where I see a lot of people hanging out, unfortunately. Oh, I see some traveling going through there. Oh. Let's go check it out. Oh, I think I'll probably gonna end up breaking this stuff up. Do a couple of different videos. Oh, it's okay. wood from the fire I looked it up the fire was back in the back in the 80s early 80s and uh, destroyed a lot of land destroyed a lot of land so all right well I'm gonna head on over to the other spot I want to check out Wow I wasn't so far from the truck I'd probably take that piece of wood it's beautiful very unique oh, it looks weathered after the burn oh, 
and I can see something travels down through here for sure. Oh, comes up here, comes up here. That's very interesting. That looks like a bare foot, but that's very, very small. That's very small. Huh. Uh, uh, I don't doubt that they they travel through here. Probably go everywhere. All right, well, here that rock is way in the distance right there. That's where I'm going. I will see y'all when I get there. Well, I made it to that rock outcropping. Uh, just kind of following these paths. I see. I see it's fairly well traveled. Let's go take a look, shall we? And we'll uh, we'll head on over to the old spots and uh, let them know one more time. Whistle, three, two, one. This place it looks way different now. And it goes down over there too. Oh, interesting little mound right here. That's for sure. Very interesting mound right here. Seems uh, very out of place, if you ask me. But with all the road grading and stuff like that that they've done up here over the years, this, this could have been pushed here at one point by a bulldozer. Who knows? Who knows? Beautiful little spot, though. Beautiful. I mean, this tree is massive. This tree is huge. This tree is probably a good thousand years old, at least. At least. Is this the one? Oh, yeah. Way back in the day. Tony, Danny, Nicole, Max. Mac and something else. I'll carve their names on this. I can't tell if that's a date. Huh. That was interesting. I don't know if that got on camera. On audio, but it sounded like, huh. So, well, I'll show you all the reason I wanted to check this area out again on the way out. Yeah, that noise came from down there. So, whistle. Three, two, one. Yeah, I found this place way back when I first started coming here. I think it might actually be called the Local Mountain Series. So. And then, uh, well, 
Uh, a cool piece of wood. I'd love to take that one home too. Very cool. All right. All right. I'm, uh, I've already got like three freaking fossil seashell rocks in my backpack. I'm not doing my back any justice, that's for sure. Definitely not doing my back any any justice today. Oh. Cool little area though. Beautiful under here. Nice and cool. No bugs. It's huge. Huge. I think it might be an oak. I could be wrong. But this thing is huge. Here, let me set you all up. And I'll stand next to it for scale. I would have found him in this area. That's for sure. This spot's great. I love it. It looks like those people that carved their name in the tree also love it too. Oh, yes. Oh, I don't know what video it is, but it's in there. Local mountain series titles somewhere where I found this way back in the summer. I see a trail going off this way. I'll go look at that a little bit. <whistles> Sorry, guys, I didn't give you a warning. Interesting. This goes down over there. Looks like it goes down into there. Oh. Interesting little spot, let me tell you. This right here looks like one of those pesky little dusky footed wood rats that are supposedly endangered. I don't know who did that study, but they were looking in the wrong place, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Freaking things are everywhere, and I bet that's the culprit of the rodent issue at the old spot. Mercies. Oh. Alright, I'm going to head on out of here. Get on now. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do an SLS in this spot. Alright, so I'll catch you up with that in a minute. Alright, well I scanned around with the SLS. I didn't get no hits. So, let's head on out and go to uh, the old spots. See if we can't coax them over to the new spots. Oh, all right, everybody. I'll see you when I get there. All right, so I am basically on the trail that I was walking back during the local mountain series. And, uh, I don't know, and I, I've been 
asked not to show this before, but it's very interesting to me, and I don't know, I still can't place it, but it's very human-like, but it's got nothing but seeds in it, plant life, and, well, the only thing out here that eats plant life is deer. So, we are walking the same trail I walked when Fletch growled at me, and I'm seeing that same scat over and over on this trail. So, it ain't mountain lion because it don't have fur in it, it ain't fox. It ain't bobcat because it don't have fur in it. It ain't deer because it don't look like deer. It ain't rabbit. It ain't raccoon. It's very human size. But it has nothing but vegetation in it. That one was very fresh. So, doo -doo 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 -doo. and stopped here. Notice that tree. Wanted to go show you all that tree. Came walking around here. And right about here I got growled at by something in there. And this whole area was smashed down as you see it now. So, little did I know... Fletch had moved back there. The big feller was right there. Literally 10 feet from me watching all of this go down. Really kind of funny. But I know I've gone over it dozens of times. But yeah, I came here to video how everything was broken downward into a blind type thing. And uh yeah, let's start. Yeah, we could just sit here all day long, watch people back and forth. Unfortunately, they can't do it now because everything is died and they don't have much cover. But I got to look all these people. Look at all the people. And this is where a lot of trails converge. So. Alright, well. I'm going to pause you all for a minute. Alright. I'm back with you. We're going to uh, head on into my buddy's place. Hey, buddy. Uh, you haven't gotten any treats lately, huh? Well, it's because you didn't follow me, silly boy. Interesting. Oh, no, they're still there. My rock stacking rocks are still there. There we go. Whistle. Three, two, one. Weeds they put up. I can see how how dead it is now. I mean, this is why I moved the bucket. So, exactly why I moved the bucket. There's no cover for them anymore. Oh, well, pumpkin's still there. Look at all this. 
It's just, it's just dead, dying, hoping there's no cover. There's absolutely no more cover. Hey, buddy. I moved the buckets over that way. Okay. You come get your treats over there, man. I moved it to a much better spot for y'all. Okay? That's all. We're not done. I just moved. Okay? Oh, whistle. Rocky! Rocky! Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, Rocky. Come here, my big boy. Yeah, there we go with the dogs. There we go with the dogs. That's another reason I moved. The buckets. Good Lord, confusing that poor dog. One lady calling way down there. Another guy calling way over there. All right, Fletch. That way. Follow me. Okay? Yeah, you can see how thinned out everything is. They must be training their dog to be off leash as usual. Well, I hope they don't learn the hard way. I hope they don't learn the hard way. All right, buddy. Follow me, please. It's that way. Okay? Off of the white sand trail. Okay? Please. Please, buddy. Alright, we're gonna go on over to Mercy's. I'll pick you up when I head on into there. Actually, I just stepped out of Fletch's area. You notice this trail coming out and around, right over into Mercy's. So, this is gonna be a Very interesting. Definitely going to have to cut it up into a couple different videos. Part one and two, probably. But look, man. So depressing. I mean, just see right through everything. When I first found this place, it was so green and lush and covered and... Um, all the new grass growing. Hey, sweetheart. I just came to let you know that we didn't stop doing this. Okay? I just moved the buckets. Like they've used my Y branch is still there right where I left it. But I mean you can see how thin everything is. That's just saddening. Just I'm glad we got a bunch of rain. Let's walk over this way. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they've don't think they've been here since I took the buckets down. All the new grass growth. Sweetheart. Big feller. Mercy. I just moved the buckets, okay? There's not enough cover here for you, or me, okay? Well, 
I guess it doesn't really matter for you guys, but I don't want people knowing why I'm in here. So I moved the buckets. They're just right over there. That's it. All you got to do is follow me. Okay. I'll take you right to them. All right, sweetheart. Big feller. you can do right now so all you got to do is just follow me okay right where the gate is okay you know that fence This is why I moved. It's just not enough cover. Dogs coming in, people coming in. Done it again. Came over here and told him to follow me. Oh, follow me. Come on. Right over there. Just go down the hill and up. You only have to go all the way up. Just go halfway. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut the video here and head on over to the new place. Let's see when I get there. Alright, here we are. Back at the top of the new place. And, uh, we're gonna head on down and clean out the buckets. Put new stuff in. Well, it's, Went to the old spots. Told them to follow me. Much better area. I mean, you guys saw how how thin everything is, and it's just worn out and dead. It's just not a good place. So it's not a good place. Not for me, not for them. And I only want the best for them. So, I could care less about me. I'll, I'll answer the questions, but it ain't gonna be the truth. So, let's go down. We'll clean out the buckets, we'll put new stuff in, and uh, we'll get it done. Alright?
Um, I've been thinking in my head the whole way over here. Follow me, follow me, follow me. So. you up and get to work. Oh, this is wet. Brought an empty grocery bag. Put all the old stuff in. But left it in the truck. Throwing the old apples and pears out for all the critters. Those are still pretty good. Those are still good.
else view. Don't know if it'll come up on camera. Right down there is a very, very, very dark spot. I don't know if it's going to show up. That's as far in as I can go. I can see it with my eye. And it looks to be uh, possibly big filler. So, I put new pairs in there. I left the tags on and black licorice. New apples. The peanuts and everything are in the Ziploc, so they seem, still seem to be pretty good. And, uh, yeah. We'll be back next weekend. And, uh, Well, Rachel, if you feel like helping me out, feel free to call me, please, because, well, yeah. So, there we go, people. And I did hear some movement, some very large movement from off that direction so hopefully Rachel can give me some clarity I don't gosh dang it that's got to be one of them because I don't see that black spot anymore all right fella Fletch, big feller, mercy. It's right there. All you gotta do is come get it. Much better area for you and me. But this is mainly for you guys. So, please, please, please. Come get your stuff. Don't worry about any of that extra stuff. That's just for the rodents. Okay, it's not going to hurt you. I would never do that. I would never do that. Okay. I just got a, a chill over my entire body. So please, 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 odd, I don't know if I did that or what, I just kind of lay in there, I guess it could have fallen off of that, oh. alright sweetheart, big guy, and Fletch, My friends, please come get your stuff. It's right there. Please. I think there might be a beehive in that tree somewhere. Here in a, a lot of buzzing going on in it. As long as I don't bother, they won't bother me. Whistle. Three, two, one. Some spots I wanted to go check out. And here we go. I think I 
might have to bring some rocks from home because the sandstone just ain't cutting it. So, these breaks. So, I'm going to do that. Okay, we went back to the old spots, we talked to them, I uh, told them to follow me in my head the whole way over here, hopefully, hopefully they did, all I can do, so. We are going to head on out of here. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. oh, wrong way. That's good about this and stuff. Doesn't even look like you can go that way. But that's the way I go. I go through the bushes. Oh. All right. Well... Hopefully we'll get about a week of um, clear weather after this week and uh, come put the trail cam up. It definitely looks like something hangs out here, that's for sure. Alright, well, again... Don't forget about the uh, 500 likes. I'll get uh, get that sticker giveaway going. And, uh, you know, liking the video just helps the videos in general. So, and, uh, you can find it in your heart to make a small donation. You can always go to buymeacoffee.com forward slash S C F N in all caps and do that. It greatly, greatly helps me out. Oh. All right, everybody. I'm gonna hike my broken back on out of here. And I'll see y'all next Saturday. Oh, happy hunting, everyone. <laughs>